Hey guys, it is TRS2.0 here, and today I am finally going to be reviewing the Sonic Movie 2. But this time, I am not alone. I'm here with my two very lovely siblings here today, younger and older, and they'll be helping me out with this review. Now, would the two of you kindly introduce yourselves? Hello, this is Young Biggs, but you can call me YBZ for sure, and I'm the one that created this monster. And I'm Fox the King, and I'm just here. Wonderful, wonderful. Now that we have that out of the way, we can start this epic review on the sequel to the Sonic movie. But, before we do that, let's give some small context about the first movie. You know, just some epic context so that people are up to speed. Now, no pun intended. Now with that out of the way, let's get this show on the road. Disclaimer! Now, this mic will not be the same as my other mic, because this video is a three-person recording session, so it will not be the same as my other videos. Please understand and enjoy the review. All right, so now that our introductions are done, let's start with some context from the first movie. So basically, in the first movie, Sonic started off alone in Green Hills. Some may call him a wanted criminal because he started a power outage. He lost his mother. Sonic had a mom and she was and now And I do mean was cause she's dead now Sonic's mom is dead, sorry Sonic your mom is dead Killed by Echidnas That was killed by the Echidna tribe Started a new family with a cop and his wife He calls the Donut Lord and Pretzel Lady They had a new friend which was the Donut Lord Beat off Robotnik played by Jim Carrey Who was hired to capture Sonic after the power outage but Robotnik had other plans which involved experimenting on Sonic. Sonic defeats Eggman at the end, ended up sending him to a mysterious mushroom planet that he was supposed to be sent to, but decided to stay on Earth, earn his trust from the government, and near the end, Tails appears saying that he is looking for Sonic, and now here we are with the sequel. Now for the plot of the action movie we are reviewing, which is Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Several months after defeating Dr. Robotnik, played again by the lovely Jim Carrey, and moving into Tom and Maddie Wachowski's house, Sonic attempts to help the public out of vigilante to low success with that little Batman reference, I guess you can call it the Blue Justice. Tom advises Sonic that he needs to remain patient for a day, because his powers will be needed before he and Maddie depart for her sister Rachel's wedding in Hawaii. Sonic plans to have fun while home alone, but is rudely interrupted by Robotnik, who has returned with the help of Knuckles the Echidna, played by Idris Elba. Knuckles attacks Sonic and demands the location of the legendary Master Emerald, which holds great power and Knuckles must be protecting, desiring to honor the legacy of his extinct tribe and restore the balance to the universe. I felt like this movie um, was very enjoyable. I, I had a lot of fun with this movie, and Sonic, Sonic's being Sonic. I will also say that Sonic is uh, very, it's not, he's not talking as much, which I enjoy because the first one, he talks too much, which is understandable. Some people don't understand that, but it's understandable why. But uh, I feel like with this one, you know, he's still Sonic, especially in the first one, but he's not as talkative. So I appreciate them doing that. Um, you know, uh, what do you think, Fox King? Uh, what do you think about Sonic? Overall, Sonic was a funny character. He acted just like how someone would expect him. And throughout the entire movie, I would say he was a great character to include. Wonderful, wonderful. I also think the same. I think they did a good job showing, again, like how Young Pig said, how he wasn't so talkative in this first one. And also showing that he's not really a wuss like he was in the first one. I mean, in this one, they basically made Tails the wuss because, I mean, come on. He's basically like, oh, yes. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, too. But, but it, listen, Tails, Tails just got here. So, you know, being a wuss, I wouldn't say that. Now, I think what you're trying to say is basically you didn't show much of Tails in this that you wanted. That, don't you maybe think that? I feel yeah. like. I mean, uh, he's, for crying out loud, he's in the, like, the movie logo, so. I mean, yes, I understand, like, the main objective is, like, you must 
protect the Master Emerald, especially if that's Knuckles, because he has to protect the Master Emerald and stuff. And it's right. like, oh, but this is uh, Sonic's mom or his mom's tribe are the ones that were taking the emeralds away from the echidnas. So they basically take it away from him. So he's trying to retrieve it back. And he thinks Sonic has the key to it. Which, of course, we find out he does later on in the movie. Uh, well, yeah. I, I, I guess. Um, well, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, you're right about that. But, but I, I feel like, yeah, this is more of a Sonic and Knuckles story than anything. But, um, Tails is just, you know, in the backbone. Um, but I, I felt like he did a good job when, uh, I felt like it, it was, I wouldn't say the word balance, but it was more like, you know, it was, uh, it was tolerable. It was, it was, it was okay with, uh, with, with Tails and whatnot. So, um, yeah, I, I guess, but I wouldn't say voice though. I don't know if I More like, he matured a little bit more, especially when Tails, like, went into the picture. Because he had to. Who's mature more? Sonic. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about Taylor. Like, <laughs> no, all older than this child. But okay. Because he had to like, I guess, mature more so he could protect Tails in those situations like that. Like when they went to that, what was that cold place? The ice capsule. Basically, they went to that tavern there. Okay. And he basically was protecting Tails, making sure everything was all right and stuff like that. Oh, okay. So with Tails on that. Okay. All right. Cool. I have to say that Tails being a shy and scaredy cat in this movie oh, is <laughs> something interesting, saying that he is the inventor of the group. And Knuckles, even though he doesn't understand most of what happened in the movie, he understood that he has been betrayed and in some way or form understood how Sonic managed to forget about bad things. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess, but I feel like with Knuckles, Knuckles kind of like, you know, he, he was, as they call it, the fish out of water. I feel like with Knuckles, it's like he, he really doesn't know what's going on, and that's true. And, you know, Knuckles, Knuckles was on a mission. So it's like, I don't care about whatever all this is. I just want the Master Emerald. So, you know, um, and you calling Tails a scary cat. I think we talked about this already, but... Uh, it's yeah, true. It's not true. How is it true? He was scared. He was scared. He was scared. Okay, 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 yeah. He was scared, but Bye. my thing is... My thing is... It... He, okay, okay. <laughs> Basically, it's, 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 Tails is like, ah, right, Sonic, I, I want to warn you, okay? Dr. Egg, Dr. Eggman's coming back, and, you know, he has a, a red furry creature. All right, Tails, let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean, we? No, 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 no. Not we. No, 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 I'm here to warn you. I, I didn't, I wasn't here to, 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 to I'm not combat ready. I don't, I don't fight. <laughs> And then Sonic said, you, you better put them tails together and start flapping over there. And it's like, all right, well, yes, sir. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I mean, he's a child. What, what can I say? What can just, I say? just like the good old days in the actual games. But they did do a good job with the whole bond with Sonic and Tails thing. So they did a good job with that. So back to you, I guess you could say, kind of was a scary cat, both bouncing him off back and forth. But at the same time, they did pull his role really well. And Kalino, yeah. Shaughnessy, and Ben Schwartz, they did a good job together. It was a pretty good thing, um, show overall. What I have to say is, them including why Tails rather come to Sonic and stay at his home planet, saying that he was excluded for having two Tails, that's kind of sad, but at the same step, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's, he has two Tails, he is adorable. Yeah, he has two tails, but the way they're saying it, it's like, oh, uh, you know, t tails, it's a weird creature. That's how Sonic could, if you remember the first one, there was like, oh, like, he's a weird creature because he runs fast and, you know, he's, he, he's, he, he, you know, he, he, he's really fast and, you know, he, so, so, yeah, so, I, I'm just, I, I mean, it, it makes sense. I'm like, oh, that, I thought that was adorable. I, th I thought that was really adorable. Because, he is cute. Because, because, no, nah, I'm talking about like the way they did it. Because it's like, yeah, you, 
you can. I, I like how basically they explain how they will become friends or how they will be relatable. Because the relatability is, you know, I'm just a weird creature. So, you know, I, I felt like that was good. I have to say is, most people yeah. know this, but strength does not matter if you know anything. If you know a lot, strength does not matter. But in Knuckles' case, if you know if you know a lot, you're dumb. If you know strength, you're smart. He is so dumb, but it's so strong. Okay, we can't explain that. All right, excuse me, thought. We can't really call him dumb because and he doesn't know most of Earth's customs, and at the same time, his he was there only for his main objective. So he didn't really take the time to learn anything about Earth. And Dr. Robotnik definitely didn't teach him anything because they brought back that floss and that thing was cr The scene where they made Robotnik, in, I mean Jim Carrey do the freaking floss again, I was just- Oh my like, god, that? that stupid floss! <laughs> See, that's one of the ones I didn't like. Cause it, it, it just came out of nowhere. Like, that's the one thing I hated about, uh, I, I hated about uh, uh, one of the things I didn't like, and I, I'm not gonna say ruin the movie or nothing, but I, I just felt like that. Like, you just can't do the full Like, uh, come on, bro. He's like, if you don't know, the I thought floss. we got. I really thought we got rid of that, but nope. The flossing is back, and it's <laughs> flossier than ever. Like, I don't. Like, come on, man. Uh, isn't that dead? Isn't that dead? Are we dead with this? <laughs> Are we dead? If you don't is know the dead? floss, you'll be lost. Oh my god. <laughs> it's not fully dead. It's just mostly dead. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, he did say that. Alright. Well, yeah. Uh, well, since we're talking about Eggman. Uh, yeah, Eggman. Uh, okay, listen. I, and I have my thoughts on this. And, uh, you know, I already said this before to uh, TR. TR uh, that I, I feel like with. Egg, with Eggman, uh, you know, play as Jim Carrey, uh, playing uh, Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey is playing Jim Carrey. Now, I'm the oldest here, so, <laughs> so I know Jim Carrey more. So, it, it, for for I don't know how y'all feel about this, but for me, I feel like I know a care. I know a, a actor. So when the actor plays exactly what I know already, it just to me personally, I feel like it's like, uh, 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 all right, I guess, and that's how I feel. I don't know how y'all, uh, if y'all ever had that feeling before that y'all know an actor, and then when the actor plays exactly how it acts, it just like it feels a little. Eh. But for some people, I'm, I'm hearing people are okay because most people said that they. They think that the movie is saved because of him, and uh, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that, but you know, uh, you know, other people's opinion. I will say that in the first movie, yes, I mean, it's it like, I'm not saying we're going straight directly to source material, but at the same time, the movie, the first one, had its first ups and downs and stuff like that, of course, because you know, for the first version. But um, besides that, yeah, right. most people can say, yeah, he did no pun intended, carried the movie. So, of course people are gonna say, oh, uh, he carried the first one, uh, so of course he's gonna carry the second one. So, so what's the point? It's like, in the second one, he did not really carry that much. In fact, he was there, yes. He did a good job, yes. But at the same time, he wasn't the main attraction this time around. Okay. Okay. Nah. I, 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 I guess. I, 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 I guess you can say that. I, I, you know, I, I didn't really look into the reviews that much. Uh, not that much. But I, I remember people saying in the first one uh, that they said Jim Carrey tried to out cartoon a cartoon. And I'm like, yeah, because that's Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey can do that. Like, if any actor can do it, it's Jim Carrey. So, <laughs> Jim Carrey, it's like they said that he had a competition of of, of, uh, <laughs> of the cartoon characters. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, he could do that. He, he could do that. So, I can see that that he would. But um, I, I, I just felt like with Jim Carrey, it, it, even in the first one, I feel like I'm like, uh, it's it's just Jim Carrey. And for, for most people, I, I, you know, they think that's okay. Like, oh, okay, that's yeah, cool. Jim Carrey's I can like him. He's back. He's back who he was before. I love it and stuff like that. And this is what I want to ask y'all because did y'all feel like 
how a lot of people, because you know, I'm pretty sure you heard about. We're gonna go into the first one again. How they said that Jim Carrey is, uh, you know, Jim Carrey is back. He's he's doing the thing. Cause I think it was it's been I think it's been almost like maybe 15 years, over a decade. I know it's been over a decade that he hasn't been doing that wackiness that he always done. I feel like with that, do y'all think that like do y'all think that he you know he uh, you know he, he it's the nostalgia that just pop into people's heads that they just you know the reason why they are like oh that's Jim Carrey Jim Carrey because it's the nostalgia just like No Way Home how you got all the three characters and whatnot and then and, and and that's what everybody's giving this movie a ten out of ten for. Yeah. I mean, or in case my other friend, eleven out of ten. <laughs> so, so, yeah. I mean, um, some you can say it was nostalgia, some you can't. But for me, uh, well, well far, quick, far from home thing. Yeah, I did not just give it a ten out of ten because of the whole three Spider Mans are back. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Now, in my opinion, it was an overall good movie, good stuff like that. Okay. And then with this one, Jim Carrey. I did not know Jim Carrey that much. I only know him for like one movie. Understandable. It's my childhood, yes. <laughs> my childhood. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Oh, I also know him from two movies actually. But yeah. Okay. I've known him from before. I know he's a, a comedian and stuff like that. So of course, yeah. I can see how people can say it's from nostalgia. I mean, most people watched the first movie because it had Jim Carrey in it. I bet most people didn't even know what Sonic was until they actually watched it. Okay, let's not go crazy there. <laughs> Sonic is known around the world, so yeah. Since we're on the topic of characters, can I just mention, at the beginning of the movie, Sonic is given a talk about responsibility. Not too long after, he throws a solo party at his own house with bubbles everywhere. In Sonic's defense, he is still a child. <laughs> they did reference that a lot in this, and that is really the main, you know, the main thing in this movie is... You know maturity not maturity but you know growing up to do and responsibility weighs in the bearer and stuff like that yeah so, you gotta remember he's it a was teenager a talk, he's a kid but i like that see this is the thing it was a talk about responsibility and not too long after he's not responsible yeah but he's a kid see my thing that's what i like because okay okay all right because guys if if y'all think about it if sonic if Sonic, uh, like, if, if you look at Sonic, like, if you look at the, the box art, or if you look at the Sonic Adventure 1, 2, 3, or Sonic 1, 2, and 3, when you look at the box art, I mean, when you look at him, you look like he'll be like, yeah, I'm gonna I'm, I'm throw a party. Like, does he not look like it? Like, like, especially Sonic 1. He looked like, he's like, yeah, I already threw one. I'm about to throw another one. Like, I, I'm just saying, I like his attitude in this. And he would do something like that. Like, he would. Like, if he knew what a party was, he would throw it. Like, he would. Like, if he was back in his old <laughs> his old dimension, he's going to bring all his woodland friends to go and, and have a big party. Like, y'all better be lucky it's just him and the dog. So, I'm just saying, like, you know. The dog had nothing to do with it. He was just there. And yet, he was with them, and they threw it together. He had the shades, he was with it. And he had bubble gum. My point fun. is, did he already forget? Like, did that never happen? Just erase from his memory? Explain! Uh, what do you mean? I, I, I just want to understand. Did he instantly forget about the talk he just had? Um, well, it, it, it goes by, like, uh, how kids would do it. Because, uh... You know, I know they show it mostly back in my time, uh, back when I was a kid, when uh, they always have, like, a kid is old enough to be by himself, and it's like, don't worry, mom and dad, your house will be just fine. And as soon as they, like, as soon as they leave, party! <laughs> and they start partying and bringing friends over and stuff like that. So, so yeah, they brought it, like, you know... It, it, a kid would do it's not even just movies in, in general kids would do that like they're by themselves be like oh i could throw a party or another cliche thing is like oh if they if they uh walk walk in and stuff like that uh you know her, their friends or whatever it's like you're by yourself 
we can throw a party. And it's like, I don't think that's a good idea. But think about it. You may be either popular or you're the girl you have a crush on will be there, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then obviously they will start a party. That's a whole cliche thing. Teenagers, kids are like, whatever, you know, more popularity than anything. But yeah, so yeah, they'll do it that way. But in Sonic's defense, you know, he's just a child. So I, I look at it like, I think that was okay. Actually, I felt like that was fitting. Like he would do something like that. Mm -hmm. He would. Don't it. forget Sonic on the ground. Right. Oh my god. Alright, so yeah, keep it going. That was its own thing. It was, but still. So, now that we've got most of the characters underwhelming. Not most, because I feel like we didn't talk about the Donut Lord. Uh, we also didn't talk about... Okay, let's let's do that real quick. What do y'all think about... We're gonna start with the side characters. Like, main side characters. So, first let's talk about the Donut Lord and Pretzel Lady, which is Tom and Maddie played by James Martin and Tika Sumter. So, how do you think they did it in this movie? They knocked it out of the park. Wait, wait, who? Maddie and Tom. Maddie and Tom. Tom is the, uh, the Donald Lord, right? Yeah. And Maddie is... Crystal Lady. Lady. Who? Crystal Lady. Rachel, Rachel's sister. Tom's wife. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, listen, I'm old. Anyway, <laughs> so, basically, uh... I guess how I feel about it, I, 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 I feel like when it comes to the, overall, when it comes to the humans, I feel like, for the most part, because we'll get to the part that I really don't understand, uh, but for the humans, I feel like they were hearing the review, like they were hearing people's, uh, you know, thoughts on the first one and how there was, you know, too many humans and it's not focusing more on Sonic and whatever like that. With this one, they were like, all right, we're here, yeah, all right, all right. We'll focus more on Sonic and anything. And I feel like I like when they did that, because like, you know, you focus on Sonic, you focus on Knuckles, Tails, Dr. Robotnik and stuff like that more, because they made an excuse for what? Oh, we're going to Hawaii. So they went to Hawaii, right? So That yeah. was like their, their, like the dedicated scene to the humans, which we're, all, we're gonna talk about soon, but first let's just talk about the characters individually. Okay, okay, okay. We get okay. to that scene. Okay. Um, I, <laughs> again, I, I felt like they were, they were okay from when they showed them, because they didn't show too much of them. Um, but, uh, you know, Tom, Tom is Tom, but again, you didn't get that much of Tom, so I feel like when they did show them, they were okay. I mean, it didn't really do much for me, honestly. But uh, Tom was Tom. Tom was there, so that was fine. Uh, his wife, uh, you know, I feel like he, he, she, uh, she, Blech. she, uh, basically was there, and that's it. Um, I didn't think much of it, honestly. But I'm not saying that it was bad or you know or anything. I just felt like it. yeah, there. That's fine. I, I didn't think of much to it, to it. Except for, you know, talk about that scene, but yeah. They're a good character actor. Uh, they did great. Their acting was actually perfect. And they would ask how any adult would act like if your child came with a pile of snow randomly. Okay, well, thanks to Fox King. Looks like we can go no, on. No, I think I know what she's talking about. She's talking about the part when it happened and he got mad. It's like uh, when Tom was like, You're in so much trouble! Like he started going in that moment. And uh, I, I, you're talking about that, right? Yes. That part, yeah. So I, I understand what she's saying. So you like that part. You like when he freaked out, like, yes. real quick. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. Wait, which part was that? When he when, end, end up in the. When he, you know, when, you know, when he. Went through the ring from the snow pile and he fell in, and, and uh, he asked if Sonic was okay, and he's like, "Yeah, I'm okay." He's like, "Great, but you're so much in trouble." And, and then you see the wife was like, "Why, why, why? like, like, uh, let, let's hear, let's hear it out, you know." And then he quickly told, you know, what the situation was. So I, I get that point. Uh, I, I get what he's, she's saying about that. Uh, what were you wanted to say? Well, with that, uh, we I guess we can go on and start off with the wedding scene and the 
biggest character we need to talk about with that regarding that scene. <laughs> Fox King wants to go first? The way she ruthlessly, she didn't even care. She was going to ram that man. I'm calling it now. If nothing happened, everything would have been fine. But the moment she found out, that man was dead. Yes, but at the same time, it was all, remember, it was all a setup. It was all a setup by... We're not gonna get to their name yet, but basically, like I said before, it was like a dedicated human scene. Cause you didn't really see the humans in the movie unless you see that little scene with the other, with all the other characters in Green Hills. But then again, if you see humans, you're basically gonna see Tom and Maddie there. And besides that, that's basically all you're gonna get for the humans. Cause the wedding scene is basically like your main. That's basically the main place you get the humans. At. All the other humans you really see is like. Agent Stone, Dr. Robotnik, Tom, and Matt, you know, those people. But besides that, you don't really see the humans in this movie. And in the wedding scene, I think they do a great job with that. So, it's not like the biggest scene in the movie, but at the same time, they still did a good job with it. If, if y'all don't, see, yeah, I know y'all don't see me, I'm just gonna say I'm rolling my eyes right now, but keep it going. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I got words. <laughs> but, um. I got words for that. All I will say is that um, the aunt, I think her name was, uh, Rachel? Yeah, um, I think she did a good job. I mean, for one thing, she did a lot more than she did in the first movie because she wasn't tied up like she was in the first movie. They actually gave her a, a role for most of that wedding scene because it was her wedding, so of course. Her setup wedding. Yeah, and uh, she and Tom are still rivals and stuff like that. And, uh, the way they did this stuff was pretty good, pretty alright. Um, I will say though, yes, Fox King, the cake shouldn't have been ran like that after they found out it was a setup by the part that, um, freaked me out in that theater, which we found out was G-U-N, which of course was Gun. So, that shocked me out, and, uh, for some it didn't, I guess, but for those who know, that shocked me. But, yeah, she was pretty upset that she found out that the wedding was a setup and that her husband was a fake spy. But, overall, I think the wedding scene was good, even the time when Sonic and Tails were captured. Because that's when they showed Sonic and Tails again. They got the humans a little alone time, but there's like, nope, Sonic and Tails are here, so it looks like we gotta reveal the who we are and this is a setup, stuff like that. But, overall, I think it was a good scene, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, so yeah. I guess I'm here. Yeah, so first of all, I would like to say, um, I understand this is a kid's movie. I also understand that this kid's movie had to have some type of laughs. I understand that. I understand that perfectly. However, with the wedding scene, Rachel is her name? Yeah. Her name is Rachel, right? Yes. Okay. Played, played by Natasha Rothwell. Um, that was way too long. They focus super heavy, and this is why earlier I was saying about the whole okay, they're focusing on uh, Sonic, Tails, or whatever. Not a lot of humans. Good. But we're going to put more humans and focus heavily on it. And I'm just like, why Why is this a thing? Now, granted, I understand that it has to be there for last and stuff like I said earlier. But my thing is with this, I feel, <laughs> I feel like this was just too long. Like too long. Like way too long. 
first of all, me personally, I, I didn't I didn't think it was funny. I didn't think it was, uh, you know, I, I didn't think it was cool. Now, that scene they put in the trailer, oh lord, there's two of them, like that, that was kind of funny. I get that part. But everything else after that, I'm just like, all right, uh, why? And that's one of the biggest problems I had in this movie that they did. Yes, they didn't really focus much on the humans, but when they get to what, when they get to that scene, they drag that thing too long. And for and, and another thing, and, 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 are y'all gonna? I, I don't know how y'all feel about this. Y'all can feel free to say what y'all want to say about it, but I feel like it was unnecessary. It was on. What, 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 for, what, for what? For what? For for what this plot is? Why? Why did they? Why did they do this? Y'all tell me. Y'all tell me what will put, make a progression of this of this movie. Like what, what? What would it do? Like I don't understand. Like I felt like this is unnecessary. Like that scene where the whole she's gonna kill Randall and all this other extra nonsense and you know and I feel like with her. You know, she. I, I I can tell that she was trying to pull her own Jim Carrey thing into this thing here, and to me, personally, personally, just to me, my opinion, I feel like it didn't work. Mm -hmm. I feel like it didn't work. Um, you know, uh, you know, I, I get the point A, point B situation is tried to rescue Sonic because we didn't really talk about it, and I guess we will bring it up because you know they're here, but. Um, the who would you want to call them? The say it. G Wayne. Yeah, you know Shadow's favorite thing to use in there. <laughs> his favorite game. Um, Gun is here. G U N is here, and they are. You know, you know. I, I feel like with them there, I was like, uh, okay, I know where this is going. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. But I was like, uh, I know where this is going. But when they were there, they, they captured Sonic when uh, he came from the mountains. Um, I know we didn't talk much about it. We are skipping over and stuff, so uh, sorry. <laughs> but we will talk about it. Um, but yeah, he did escape, and uh, uh, I mean, they, um, they got captured. Uh, Sonic and Tails got captured, and uh, yeah, um, you guys want to so like, you know. Yeah, they got captured, and then doing a lot, he was able to save the both of them. But Sonic, being the type of guy he is, he wanted to protect Tails, so he left Tails by himself, and he basically went off to catch Eggman and Knuckles. Because before the wedding scene, like before they the ring got transported to the wedding, to Hawaii, they were in the ice cap zone because Knuckles. Eggman, Sonic, and Tails, they were all going to the same place. They were, like, Knuckles and Eggman were following Sonic and Tails because they were using the coordinates set. Uh, what was Sonic's mother name again? Longclaw? Longclaw. Yeah, yeah Longclaw's directions in order to find the Master Emerald and telling Sonic, Sonic, yeah, you must protect it. Longclaw, uh, Tails' mother. Okay! They forgot that reference? <laughs> or everybody forgot that reference? Uh, it's... She's your mother? What? Like, uh, again, I get it's a kid's movie. I, I get it. I get it. I get it. Keep going. But, yeah. Um, what I do think is that uh, Sonic, uh, he went off to go f um, capture the, not capture, but he went to go and stop them from taking the Master Emerald, not knowing, or was knowing, that... Actually, no, not even. Because before that, when they were in the ice cap zone, Sonic and Knuckles connected, knowing each other's past now and what their goal was trying to do. How Knuckles explained. Yeah, so basically, things. like, basically, Knuckles uh, was beating the crap out of Sonic in his own house. And uh, uh, Dr. Robotnik was there. And Tails uh, said, you know what? Let me pull a uh, hit and run. And uh, he hit and run uh, the Knuckles. You know, like rammed into Knuckles. Yeah, hit and run. It's he, a kid's movie. Yeah, he hit Knuckles and ran. He hit and run. Yeah. Hey, listen, this is what they did. This is hit and run, and uh, uh, you know, I, I feel like, I mean, I feel like you know, Sonic can run faster than the car. But anyway, what, what, what do we know about it? Uh, and I feel like, all right, well, maybe Tails can't catch up to Sonic, so maybe oh, we gotta be in the car. I guess. 
I still think it's funny that Knuckles can't even catch up to a car that fast. Like, I feel like he could have <laughs> got a little more speed, but I get it. He's not fast like Sonic, so I get it. But I thought that was funny, like he, the way he was chasing it. Um, but yeah, when uh, he, he uh, when he when a Knuckles attack him, so uh, you know, uh, Tails uh, Tails and Sonic was in the car, and, and Tails was explaining practically everything that happened. And I feel like I, I feel like. Um, on the side note, Tails, his backstory, how he, how did he ended up all that? I think it was a good job. Mm. Um, but you can continue. I really want to bring that up. Leading on from that, like I said, Knuckles, he didn't understand. He thought that Sonic was the enemy. That Eggman was his um ally. The only reason he thought Eggman was ally was because Robotnik used him in order to get to the Master Plan. Because you're immense power, so of course I can be like, immense power, I must have it. And then, with that being said, that's when they make their escape after the whole ice cap scene. That's when they make their escape to the Angel Island, I'm pretty sure. That's where they went to, right? I don't remember the name of the place, but um, I guess you can say that. Uh, you can describe it, I guess. They went to the island with uh, Master Emerald was. Sonic decided to follow them because he want he because he knows why Knuckles is there, but he wanted to stop Eggman from taking it. So what happened is they um I was was that even a funny scene because Knuckles and Eggman were just like avoiding all the booby traps and stuff like that, trying to make sure they don't get killed. Or trying to get that Emerald. I thought I thought that place they were at where the traps and all that stuff was at was it not. Mystic Ruins they were going for? I think it was Mystic Ruins. Cause I, I, yeah, cause I, I feel like that's what they were trying to go for. Like, Mystic Ruins. I don't know. Did they ever said it was Mystic Ruins? I don't even think they even brought it up. Is it Mystic Ruins the one that's an adventure? I don't remember. Yeah, it's on an adventure, yeah. That's probably where they went then. That's what it looks like. Cause that's where the Akinness live. Like, that's where the art were. So, I, I feel like that's... But then again, they did switch it up because it, it was the owls. <laughs> okay, yeah. So I, I, I guess I, I don't know. Uh, maybe it's going. Cool. But anyway, um, uh, I don't know. But yeah, after they got to the Mystic Ruins, they just started to hit the Emerald. Um, yeah, Jim Carrey or Eggman tried to kill Knuckles when they were in there, but then Sonic came in, joined the party by. Uh, Getting oh, yeah, hit by when, all the when, Oh yeah, when he had that that that, that little machine, he was gonna not, uh, uh, slice his head off or something like that. Huh? He's like, goodbye, Knuckles. You were a useful asset. Like, and Sonic with the camera and stuff like that. But I feel like, um, I feel like, uh, I, I feel like with Sonic, I feel like he he did well. Well, the one thing I, I wanted to talk about too that we skipped over, um, but I'm gonna bring it up that Sonic Blue Justice in the beginning. Um, <laughs> yeah, he remind me of SpongeBob in that one episode when SpongeBob as the hall monitor, and he thought he was doing everything great, but he didn't. Y'all, y'all know what episode I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah. 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 So. That's what I felt like that was going on there. Even uh, I think it was. I don't know who did worse. <laughs> I don't even know who did worse. Fair point. <laughs> they both destroyed the city, so I don't. I don't know. You know. That's fair. I, I don't even know. Even though he got like the person that was in like the police officer, or the person that was getting robbed, that was like the one that said, "You are terrible at this." That actor, even though he was only there for like that small scene, I was like, hey, "He did a pretty good job." For what was what it was worth. Such a little thing done. I feel like he wanted to time. say more, but they did give him the script and said read the script and say this, and because though that's that's one of the things that uh, I feel like that that has a problem is the the writing in this. The writing was okay at some part, especially when they bring up references and stuff like that. But um, but yeah, the writing to me personally felt a little weak. I, I feel like that, like because I'm just like oh like. You know, gotta go fast. Like, why say it there? Like, I, I don't know. It was weird. But when it comes to that guy, he's like, "You're terrible at this." It's like, uh, 
okay. I wish they would have just done something like, you know, like, why are you terrible at this? Like something like that. Like something uh, not. You are terrible at this. Why well, he's all tied up still? Like you know. So I feel like that was. Good. But again, not, not every writing is bad. So I won't say that. The thing about you saying that he's like when he, Sonic is saying gotta go fast. Is that like the part where, like when he's running on water or you're talking? Like, yeah. I mean, in my case, that does sound necessary because if he doesn't, of course, he's going to fall into the water and, you know. No, I get the point of him running and going fast and whatnot, but saying it, it's, it felt like, <laughs> you, you see that? He said it. He said it. He said the Sonic thing. And, it, and that's what I feel like they kind of pushed that a little bit. That it's like, okay, because you know where they got that reference from, Sonic X. So it's like, you know, I, I just felt like they could have done a little bit better to that i feel like i'm not saying it's a terrible kind of thing they did but i feel like they could have done a little bit better to that you know for some reason i feel like they just reused the clip they used from the first trailer and then just added it no, they the did. One. yes yeah that's exactly what they did <laughs> that's, exactly <laughs> what they did. that's exactly what they did like you know there's certain things they did change here like in what happened in the trailer they kind of did change a little bit things there like you know, little points in there, but um, overall, it's like it's the same line, but in a different way. How they say, it. like how, how the uh, expression, how they did it. So I, I felt like they did an okay job with that, but the writing was a little weak. I, I kind of pointed certain things out there. Um, what else? Uh, what, what, uh, the final boss. Is, well, the Blue Justice, uh, like I said, uh, Hall Monitor, uh, SpongeBob. Again, uh, I just wanted to know who, who did worse because I'm kind of. Uh, I still think SpongeBob did worse. Still think well, no. oh, okay. And uh, okay. SpongeBob destroyed most of the city. The Blue Justice slash Sonic destroyed part of it. He destroyed. He destroyed a whole street. The kid almost got like hit by a truck. SpongeBob demolished houses. Okay, that's a fair point. That's, <laughs> uh, that's also a fair point. Okay, SpongeBob did worse. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay, SpongeBob did worse. Okay. All right. All right. Y'all yeah, right. All right. Uh, this is what I want to make sure. But you know, um, they're both uh, destructoids. Uh, yeah. I just wanted to bring that up in the beginning because I was just like. <laughs> okay. That explains it. Um, what about that scene when he, when he, uh, uh, you know, when he, he snuck, he, he's trying to sneak, sneak back into the house and stuff. Uh, you know, coming from the city that he destroyed. Oh yeah, because he snuck out. Yeah, he snuck out. Uh, His attempt to make a fake dummy was sad. <laughs> Yes. That was hilarious. I thought that was adorable. <laughs> the fart, though. Yeah, he tried to use fake farts instead of real farts. <laughs> Interesting. It, it was sad. But at least uh, he tried. Yeah. At least he tried. He tried. He tried. Just like any kid would. But, uh, you know, I, I thought that was okay. I, uh, um, so what, uh... What else? Did we miss anything else from the beginning? I don't think so. That was it, right? He just snuck in and stuff. Alright, so. The final boss. What are your thoughts? Final boss. Well, before we do that, can we talk about the voice of the Echidna? Okay. The voice actor, which is Idris Abba. Yes. Uh, now, first of all, I wanted to know, because I actually wanted to ask y'all a question on this. How did y'all, th I know you don't know the character that much, but I mean, I'm sorry, the actor. Um, how did you feel when they announced, oh, Idris Ej Alba is going to play as Knuckles? How, how did y'all feel about that? I just didn't know who he was. Understandable. You Help me. There you go. Um, I feel like it was a little weird, but I thought it could work. So, um, which is fair. I, I get y'all don't know. But now, what y'all do know is the comparison. Compared to regular Knuckles uh, or original Knuckles 
and uh, let's say Sonic X, right? Same voice actor from Sonic X and Sonic Adventure. I think. You think so? I don't remember. Well, okay, let's say it is kind of, kind of sound a little similar, right? So, that, I don't know if y'all watched Sonic Boom or something like that. Yes. Okay, so with that, right? He played the game. <laughs> Sorry, people, he played the game. He's a true fan, I tell you. <laughs> but, yeah, so he did play the game, but it was my fault. Anyway, so basically with that, um, not, um, you know, with Idris Elba and Knuckles, how do y'all feel between, I'm not saying who's better or whatever, but how do you feel compared to those two? What do you mean? How do you feel compared to the original uh, Knuckles voice? Acting to Idris Elba. Um, he was more serious than most Knuckles that I've seen in these video games. Okay. He needs to go to school, that's what I'm gonna say. I mean, he delivered with a serious tone as well as a. Uh, he needs to go to school, okay. As well as a funny sense of humor. You way. cannot tell me I'm wrong. Well, he's what we call fish out of water. He doesn't get certain things, so, you know, he's trying to understand it a little bit. But I will say, though, with Knuckles, he's trying to adapt, so I give him points up to that. <laughs> like, he's trying to adapt. Because, you know, that very own uh, text message scene where they were uh, texting uh, Sonic. And, you know, he's trying to read it, which, you know, he read okay until he got to the dots part. Thought. Dot, 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 <laughs> dot. Yeah, exactly that. <laughs> so yeah, but uh, yeah, he did, he did good with that. Um, but I feel like when I heard it, I'm like, okay, it doesn't sound like the actual knuckles that I grew up with, but I feel like. You know, I, I feel like he, he, he did a good job. Actually, I feel like he did a good knuckles here. Can I just say that there are only three dots? How many dots did he say? Well, it kept going, so that's why he kept saying that. Yes, but even if I was him, I would know there's only three dots, even if they were flashing. But remember, you're from this place here, which is called Earth, and he's in another dimension or a planet I guess. Yeah, but I'm saying if I was him, even if they were flashing, I would still say three. That's it. Yeah, but let's go back to what you said again. He needs to go to school. Yes. Yeah, he wasn't in school. <laughs> so, yeah. All he learned was how to fight. Yeah. Strength does not matter if you can't read. Well, he can read. He's just following what he saw. Barely. He can't comprehend everything, but he can read. Yeah, School no. is something he needs. Well, we'll find out. And uh, anyway, so, uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to ask y'all, though. Now, because we've been, we've been rambling for over 50 minutes now, we need to talk about the final boss. Okay, okay, well, okay, wait, okay, yeah, that's fair. Okay, so first we're going to start with the part that was in the trailer, Knuckles vs. Sonic. Even in theaters, that fight was still oh, epic. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was epic. I, I liked the fight. I didn't even think they was going to do a little bit of punching and kicking. That was that was pretty cool. I liked that. Uh, it was very flashy. <laughs> very, very flashy. Uh, yeah, I I, I I like that scene. That was nice. I, like, the trailer looked nice, but they did a little more, and I like that. Mm -hmm. No comment. They went crazy. I need to see that again. Yeah, that was that was really good. Um. Oh, uh, Rock, can you have anything you want to say about the final boss? Or technically the scene before the final boss boss when Donna Chris and Knuckles. Mm, not more I have something to say, but it's not Sonic versus Knuckles. More like how Knuckles saved himself and Sonic from drowning. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that yeah, scene definitely. was nice. That that scene was nice. Um Yeah. obviously they did a reference that he couldn't swim. Yeah, that was sad. So I like 
<laughs> I thought it was a little bit funny how Sonic is like, well, I can't swim down there, so I gotta drop on the big boulder just to go down to this. I thought that was a little cute. I was like, oh, well, he can't swim. Look at that He I can't even go down here. So I, I felt like that was cool. Uh, you know, I, I felt like uh, how uh, Knuckles, you said Knuckles saved Sonic. Yeah. And, and no, or Sonic saved Knuck. Uh, Sonic. Technically okay, so, both. So yeah. So basically, so- Sonic, Sonic saved Knuckles, and then Knuckles was like, "Thanks," and left Sonic, <laughs> even though we all know Sonic can't swim. And uh, yeah, he was gonna drown, but then Knuckles realized, "I can't." Th- oh, he can't swim, and then he went down to pick him up and saved him. Um, before we even talk about that or go any further with that, can we also talk about that the one scene that I felt like they did as a cliche, but I felt like I was I was like I, I don't know how he can how that happen how that can happen, but I'm just like okay. And it's the scene with the gotta go fast when he was running from the running towards the water, but when he got to the the tsunami and all that, and then a splash on him. He ended up in the uh, in the short just like that. And he wasn't that close. Can I just say how they reference how he can swallow bubbles for air? You like? Yeah, that's a that's a reference for uh, like the first Sonic games and stuff. Yes, uh, that's yeah, how he gets that's air. Reference. Yeah, that's yeah. the reference. Yeah, that was a you know that was a reference for the Sonic fans. There's a lot of references in the Sonic fans. It was a lot. Yeah. But um, a lot more than the first one, that's for sure. Oh yeah, without a doubt. Um, but I was saying, you know what I'm talking about, the scene when he was running and then the, the, the big wave and all that stuff and he got splashed and then it black and then he ended up in the short. I was like, what? <laughs> like, how? I don't understand that. Again, it's a cliche thing, but it was kind of weird. I don't know, unless he went so fast that he ended up flipping all over the place that he got to the short. I don't know. It's a bit weird. But, yeah, I, I just I just wanted to bring that up because that happened. Okay, well, we are literally almost at the one hour mark, so seriously, let's get this. Just talk about the final boss. Alright, final boss, uh, uh, Eggman, he got the chaos armor out the uh, Knuckles and Sonic were um, knocking each other out, no pun intended. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Eggman became, how you want to call it, Chaotic Man? I, I don't know how you want to call him. He turned into Chaos R. Oh, uh, Chaos Eggman. There we go. <laughs> Chaos Eggman. Can we just say his outfit, though? Yeah, he changed his outfit. <laughs> I was, again, we get why. Oh, also, there's another thing we have to discuss about that's important. They did talk about the origins of how the Chaos Emeralds are meant to be because we got to talk about what happens at the actual end. Um, but basically, I feel like with Eggman um, getting the egg, a- Emeralds and then turn into a giant egg bot uh the deaf egg robot the deaf egg robot and stuff um i'm just like uh okay you have all this power and you got the robot i, I guess it is big it's a it's a humongous robot so i guess i guess i'd give that a pass world domination world domination as someone who really likes the color green i would take that outfit <laughs> it's mine now Right. Copyright can't get me. Um, also, can I also point out, because I know we're ne- ne- near the end, can we also talk about the the Donut Lord's uncle or what? What is, what is he to him? His cousin? His brother? What, what is he? Who? The fake patrol chef. Uh, sheriff. Uh, sheriff. Wade? Yeah, him. Their friend. Oh! You thought! That's even worse, because <laughs> he is useless in this movie. <laughs> useless I now mean, mind you again get it i get it, it's a kids movie but why have him i i just don't understand why he was in there just because he got eggman's henchman i, I don't understand that but he didn't really get his henchman per se he technically did remember the bagel <laughs> The bagel was fake. The bagel was fake. You want anything on your bagel? That's a prop bagel. Yeah, so that was weird. Um, Also, when Eggman turned into Chaos Emerald, they kind of modulated his voice. 
I thought that was weird. <laughs> I thought that was fun. I know, in, in, a, in a funny way, I thought it was weird. It was like, like I, I can't do it, but you know. Mm. It, Why do I feel like they crazy. were just playing around with the effects while this was happening? Yeah, they were. Because yeah, like, if you saw, he was like making a pigment with the chaos energy of like a turntable. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he was literally playing it. Because with the chaos emeralds, uh, uh, master emerald, we'll say right now, with the master emerald, he was able to turn his thoughts into turn power. Turn his thought into power. Whatever whatever he thinks it pops up basically. So that's what he did. Which that's why I don't understand what the whole egg robot thing. He could have done more, but I get it. It's 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 okay. I get it. I'm not saying it's bad. Don't kill me. I'm just saying I'm just saying I wish he would have I wish he would have done more with it. But it's fine. He's near the end, we gotta rush it, we gotta get it out of there. I get it. The f part where Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles all band together. Oh, that was epic. Yeah. I was epic. I, I love was, the that, part. Was epic. That, was yeah. epic. that was 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 epic. The one thing that killed me, I was like, when Sonic's like, all right, Knuckles, I need you to. And then he just took me. He's like, oh, for what? <laughs> and he just oh, fell yeah, off the yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. He did know, not hesitate to jump. Because Knuckle, Knuckles like, all right, I'm, 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 I'm I don't need this. <laughs> and, and do, I'll do it myself. Like I, he's doing a Thanos thing. Fine, I'll do it myself. Like, and then does it himself. Uh, but I get it. Um, <laughs> it was kind of funny though. Um, but the fighting in this, uh, when it comes to them fighting the Death Egg, was crazy because uh, while I, the scene I love is when they were discussing the plan while they were fighting and the way they did it in the scene was so beautiful i said wow kind of almost almost remind me of i know this is weird <laughs> i can back spongebob again kind of remind me of that ending with the sponge out of water that they have a discussion but the way they were the angle and stuff like that i don't know why it kind of remind me of that a little bit if y'all remember how it went yeah when it got kinda. super power you get what i mean right yeah like it kind of felt that way to me a little bit um but nonetheless i i enjoy that that scene there the way they fought um eggman it was pretty cool pretty epic and the fact that agent stone and eggman were just bashing attacks back at them back and forth uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they tried making quips like, he's like hey and he's like here read the manual and that freaking i was like oh, they use the genesis yeah. cover menu i was like that's yeah. amazing yeah they do the genesis manual i said ah there we go <laughs> There it is. Uh, did you not hear? Did you not read the man? What do they call it? The the egg manual or something like that? <laughs> I forgot what it's called, but yeah, that was funny. Uh, they also brought the egg carrier back. They brought the egg carrier from in the beginning. They, when he took, he was like a road trip. And it was the egg carrier. Yeah. I said, all right, I ain't about that much. But you see it in the trailer, so you already know. But um, but yeah, back to the the bad. The, there was another funny thing that I liked that Jim Carrey was, he and Jim Carrey, he was like, I'll do it myself. And he, choom, he was like, burn the lightning. And like the lightning just <laughs> shot it. And I thought that was kind of funny. I also like, again, Jim Carrey being Jim Carrey, where he was trying to, how he walked, like baby steps. He's doing the whole <laughs> one, two, one, two, <laughs> one, two. And I'm thinking, no. And then the robot, I'm like, no. I'm like, no, man, no. Uh, I thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> He's like, eh, 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 eh. I said, oh, okay, Jim. <laughs> okay. So I thought that was kind of funny. The fact that almost all of them, they just got knocked out near the end. Where J I think, because Doctor Stone, like, I forgot what the attack was, but he, he got tails with it. And then Eggman's like, did you? And he's like, insert, attack me. Page number seven in the man. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We got the mustache. Uh, the mustache hit, hit, hit what's his name, uh, 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 Tails, uh, Tornado. I don't think he called it the Tornado, right? I don't even think they gave it a name. I don't think, but, you know, Sonic fans will point that out. <gasps> it's Tornado! So we know what that is. But Yeah, I, I remember in the movies, when we were sitting and watching, someone next to me said the Tornado. Uh, <laughs> TR. So, 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 yeah, because, again, it's the reference. Uh, again, we have a lot of references in this movie, so yeah, I enjoy that. I appreciate it. So, um, I like that funny scene. What else happened? Um, 
Oh, mm-hmm. guys, remember when, uh, remember when, uh, you know, Knuckles Tail, they had a plan. So basically the plan was, like, what was the plan to, to basically stop Eggman in the robot? Uh, they know, distracted what? him, and then, t- I think... Tails was- distracted, Knuckles sneaked in while he was distracting, well, distracted, and then Sonic proceeded to try and... Uh, what was it again? I don't know. Sonic basically was bait. Oh, yeah, um, Sonic was bait. Sonic was bait. Tails was a distraction, and Knuckles basically was the executioner to take to, to get that Master Emerald out of uh, Eggman. Yeah. Which he he did, he did get the Emerald, and then it broke. I also had a pro- I also had a I don't want to say problem, but I also had a a, a a a little question for you guys. Sonic can't outrun a robot now. Like what happened there? Oh, when yeah. he went to the bridge, he was oh, because he was brutally so- injured. Oh yeah, he was. Oh, he was. Okay. Yeah, because okay. remember he was the. No, no. Bait. Why he was on the bridge though? Yes, he was bait. Uh, no, no. But I'm saying when he was running to the bridge, I didn't think. Oh, oh, the explosion from the trees. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. And then when he did that, he lost. He well, not. Sonic been through a lot. I, I gotta tell you, Sonic been through a lot in this movie, man. Like Sonic been through a lot. So yeah, of course he was like oh, when he got to the bridge, he was like, oh no. I, I can't hold I can't hold on for too long. So then that's when he collapsed. Then when he tried to get the emerald, Eggman is just like no, no. But that's Damn. after that. That's that's that because what you're talking about is something that happened after he was on the bridge. Because that's when he knocked the bridge and he fell. I'm talking about when he came from the woods and he went to the room and he was running. He was slowing down a little bit, like he was hurt. But it explains because when the tree thing happened, that's when um, you know when 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 Eggman blasted the tree, hit him. And, and kind of slow him down a little bit, so I get that point. Um, so he was bait, yeah, he was bait. Um, uh, so. uh, what part happened after that? The so when he became movie. bait, yeah, when he kept became bait, uh, knuckles knock, um, knuckles knock. Uh, uh, the uh, master emerald out of Eggman him. Eggman out, yeah. And then after that. A little bit after it broke, and then Sonic almost died. Yeah, that happened. Yeah. He almost died. But yeah. Yeah, Sonic almost died. Um, then he, he almost died by. For, well, first he almost died by because he was trying to get the Master Emerald um, when he was limping and whatnot. I think y'all saw it. it was in the trailer too, right? Yeah. That was in the trailer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second, second. Yeah, yeah, that was in the trailer. When he went to go grab that emerald, and um, when, when he went to go grab the emerald, Eggman was about to squish him, but then, um, you know, uh, I keep forget his name. Tom and Pretzel Maddie. Lady. Okay, Maddie. we'll go by Pretzel Lady. Uh, a Donut Lord and Pretzel Lady. Uh, ended up rescuing Sonic, as you saw in the in the trailer. Uh, you know, and this is the scene that I was really questioning. I don't know if y'all picked that up, but the scene when Eggman hit their car, and it was a horrific like 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 the car was like going all over the place, and then they came out like. I barely nothing happened. I'm just like, oh, the guy. I remember in the crowd. The crowd was like, like they were talking. It was like, wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait, what, how did it? What? Like, <laughs> like, like in a jeep or whatever. And they ended up. I'm not gonna say they won't survive. And I know they got some scratches and whatnot. But it, you gotta have some broken bones or something going on <laughs> from that they kind were, of crash. They were bleeding though. Again, they have scratches. I get that point. But the the whole how they escape is like. They're, they're fine. Like, I mean, they broke them both. You saw the crash. Like, anybody going that crash, you you have to have like, oh my arm. Like, I know they, I know it's a kids movie, but I'm just saying it's like, ah, my arm or something like that. But no, they came out like <laughs> coming out there. I, I thought that was weird. I like, I like, I don't know. That was weird to me. He was ready to get in the final stop. And what happened after that? He was about to get in the final stop, but then Tom and Maddie, or Presley, don't know, like these two keep saying, um, they basically stayed with Sonic, if they die, 
you they die too because they're family and family stick together of course so when that happened it we didn't bring it up but um sonic he had the master emerald with him he was able to retrieve it when they picked him up and it broke yes and as it broke what <laughs> shocked everybody was Super Sonic! Yeah, it had the Chaos Emeralds inside of the match. Which honestly surprised me because I honestly thought the Chaos Emeralds were not going to be in this movie. Bro, the story told you. The Chaos Emeralds made the Astro Master Emerald. Yeah. What do you think happened to them? They disappeared into God? I mean, that's what happens in the action. Really? Yeah, and, and that's the thing. They're trying to explain it better because, and they, you remember, they have to cater this to the to to the fans and the people that don't know the, the game. Like, don't know the lore or the story to it. They know Sonic. They hear the word Sonic. They know what the thing looked like, but they don't know the story. So they have to explain it better for the, you know, explain it, explain it better for the casuals, for the people that don't really know the Sonic story. So I felt like what they did here, I think, I think they did a great job explaining it, like to, to the casuals, and it was okay for us because, like, yeah, why not have those, you know, whatever, had them together. Mind you, if they really put the, everything in the game, you think they're gonna have like a colossal big emerald that they can't pick up to go in? They can't do that. So they did a big emerald, and obviously the the chaos emeralds are small. So I thought that was a good touch to it. Because remember the emeralds in the in the in the in the game or in like let's say Sonic X, like that's like the same size as the the Master Emerald in the movie, and then the Master Emerald is like probably the size of this whole apartment, you know. So you know, mm. you get what I mean? Mm. Okay. Well, listen. If you disagree, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Um, but with that, yes, we got Super Sonic, and he de and he decided to fend off against. Eddie. May I speak to the audience a little quick? This Sonic design, when he made him Super, was awesome. It looked so good. I literally was looking fur to fur to see any type of mistake. Because I want the details to see what they would change out of this. And I got to tell you. And I watched this twice, by the way. I got to tell you. I love it. I love the design. I really did. Jeff Fowler, great job on that supersonic design. It, that, yeah, he beat off Eggman completely. And then I love the part where Eggman's like, come on, he literally buddy, did what he, he literally said what he was going to do. He was going to open Eggman's robot top off like a can. <laughs> and he literally did that. Yeah. He paused his hand. He, like, Eggman's about to smash him. Like, and he's like, hold up. And he's like, hmm? that was that was awesome. And then I'm, Hold up. Wait a minute. And then he just zoomed around his thing and broke off the top. Fuck off the top. And then Edmund's like, come on, buddy. Can't we be friends? You know? Buddy old pal. And then he's like, you know what? And he tipped, he tipped the top. He's like, fuck. <laughs> I guess we're not friends. <laughs> and, then right. and then what is Eggman's last words? Later, hater. Later, haters. <laughs> I said, oh, not a junk. Uh, Again, I get it, but it's a gem. <laughs> Mr. Carey. <laughs> it was funny. I, I don't know. <laughs> At least he Last word. <laughs> Later, haters. <laughs> I thought that was weird, but I mean, funny, but you know. But, <laughs> yeah. Okay. At least he was a five. He wasn't like <laughs> mad he, or crying. At least he knows he's a hater. But <laughs> yep. then Knuckles came back after his little episode of him being. Remade Mr. Emerald. Tails also getting back because he found him. He found himself, and and then uh, that's when Super Sonic. Uh, he did that whole dramatic thing where Knuckles is like, "Everyone stand back. He's super now. Therefore, he is not the same Sonic you once know." Some is a chili well, dog. What, what, what he <laughs> said. What he said was he was like, he he said he said stand back. He has the emerald now. <laughs> That means Sonic is not the Sonic you knew. 
and then you just see Sonic just rolls his hands up, <laughs> and you see the clouds are forming, and the thunder is coming right to his hands, and it's a chili dog. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and and then he ate the chili dog, and then what happened after that? Mm, you got mm, mm, you got fried this man. Yeah, I tried this. <laughs> And then he snap, and then the chili dog's flying, <laughs> and then you know he dropped it on 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 uh, Knuckles' head. Knuckles face and whatnot. And he's like, no, all right, never mind. This this is this is a sign, you know. <laughs> uh, uh, so I thought that was a funny touch right there. And then with that, I basically, well, not yet, because um after that, basically Tails and Knuckles now live with Sonic. Pretzel Lady and Donut Lord, because these two don't say Tom and Maddie. But anyway, with that, you Pretzel Lady and it. Donut Lord. <laughs> At this point, they were barely in this movie, so yes, we can call her, I call them Pretzel Lady and Donut Lord. Yes. Oh, okay. But yeah, they basically are with um, Pretzel Lady and Donut Lord. And at the end, we have that nice little Team Sonic playing baseball with the Wachowski family. I guess we're all the Wachowski family now. And then, <laughs> the fact that where Tails was the pitcher and he was throwing it to Knuckles, I love how he used his actual glove to punch the Oh, yeah. And Fish, and bump! <laughs> and then bump and hit the, hit the baseball bat and God knows where that, where that, <laughs> that baseball where that baseball is at right now. <laughs> yeah, Knuckles is incredibly strong in this movie. Oh, yeah, he's incredibly, incredibly strong. strong. Yeah. He's like, oh yes, I did it. I am the king of baseball. No, no, he's like, I am the king of base and the ball. <laughs> <laughs> I am having the fun. That's the thing about. I think he said, I have conquered the base of the wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have conquered the base and the ball. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, he's like, I have conquered the base and the ball. <laughs> I'm like, this is so good because people don't understand, like, like, I'm not gonna say people, I'm not judging y'all, but I'm saying, like, some people, like, okay, some people probably was like, oh, I don't like this Knuckles, this is not the Knuckles I know, I'm not, there's some people out there like that, but the thing is, it feel it fits so well in it, because, remember, and it makes sense, because he's an Akinda, he's from, like, a tribe or something, so they're trying to fit the whole, well, how would people in tribes will act and i feel like they did a great job in this like they did a really great job they also did a backstory for knuckles too we didn't bring that up too they did a backstory for knuckles and i thought even as short as it, it was i felt like that was it was fitting i, I thought that was cool um i feel like they could have done a little more it was short so i, I i'll say I, I wish they could have done a little more but i guess it was okay because basically he was a child he was gonna fight some owls and the father said no your time will come and he left and never came back again his father left for... His father abandoned him. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he didn't abandon him. Something happened to his father. Who knows? So, he, he never saw his father again. So, we presume that... Uh, he left for the feathers. He left for the feathers. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> the owls cooked him. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. This is a kid. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> yeah. So, um... So, yeah. Um, that's what I feel like. But, yeah. The baseball scene was... <laughs> and with that, you basically... Yeah. The end of the movie with the epic credit scenes by Kid Cudi, Stars in the Sky. That was fun. Another thing too, that I like that they fit. And I okay, people. When I first watched this movie, I actually teared up in this movie because, and this is why I thank the director so much. Now again, this is not a perfect movie. It's not. We already talked about some problems we like and we don't like, but I feel like. Jeff Fowler really, the director Jeff Fowler really pay attention to the source material and then also pay attention to the last movie he was making because if 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 y'all you know if y'all um, y'all will understand this that um, that um, basically when um, you know in the beginning of the first movie. You know, what's the beginning of the first movie? Sonic was at a baseball field and he was all alone playing by himself. Realized he and he that kept he like what's he, was, he was like, I I guess you could say going insane because like he realized. No, nah, it's not more of the same because he's a loner. So it's like it's not the fact that he was going insane. I get what you're saying, but he's not really going insane. Yeah, it's the fact that he's trying to have 
finding me only could do it by himself. But this is why I I, te I teared up at this part too because Sonic was a loner and he did all that by himself. I kind of feel a little emotional about it too because if pay attention in that beginning and then in the end, what do you see? Him playing baseball but not by himself, playing baseball with his new friends and his family. Could you kind of say that's like a homage or something? Not, like a, not homage. Which Jeff like, Fowler kind of did to his own movie? I don't think so. But because it was, like, a, it was like the same baseball court, if you see No, it. I'm not saying it's the same, but what he was doing was baseball in the beginning, right? In the first one. And the second one, where you see near the end, he's baseball. playing baseball, but he's not by himself now. He's, he's with friends, with friends and, family. and family. Yeah. So I thought that was a, a very, very fitting touch. That hit me hard because I was because I did feel a little sad that he was by himself in the first one. I was like, oh man, that is sad. Like, he is by himself. And then you see here now he's playing with friends and family. So I thought that was really a great touch to that. Like I really thought that 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 could been that could have been a conclusion, but you know after the credits. After the credits, uh, we end up seeing Gun again, or G U N, and um, yeah. they Gun. did they, they find out that Eggman was dead, or did they say so? Basically, I can help you with that. So basically, what happened was they uh came they came to the conclusion they said because in the in the movie what they did was that um they told them basically uh, uh the Donut Lord and and so or Sonic they they told the G U N the same. Well, not not Sonic, but uh, Donut Laura. So they they told him, or they uh, have proof that Eggman is doing something bad. They know he was back. Oh, oh, the Donut Laura told the G U N. They said Don't, uh, Eggman's back and stuff like that. So he's like, he's back. Okay, we gotta do something. Uh, we gotta go to his back. Uh, uh, you know, we gotta cut everything off, basically, and everything. So near the end, they said while we were doing that, we actually found something, and you know, the whole, uh, you know, they found a secret. Uh, lab and it's been over 50 years that this thing been around and yeah there you go from there they and it turns out that secret they found was shadow the hedgehog shadow the hedgehog but or project shadow yeah project shadow. project shadow <laughs> and yeah <laughs> he looks good he looks good he looks good. This next movie is gonna be. He looks good. Oh, I gotta say, this next movie's gotta be crazy. He, he look. He looks good. He looks. He looks really good. But um. But yeah. I, <laughs> oh man. So. I I was gonna say, and I brought this up a lot, and some people are saying it because I said it's alright, but. I'm just saying, what would the original designs look like in this movie? I was, I'm just curious. Hey man, y'all can't help. I just, I'm just curious what would the original design would look like. We already know what the original Sonic design looked like, and then we will see what Tails look like. How would Shadow and Knuckles? No, look we like? don't. We don't. I don't even think they plan. I don't even think they planned it. Plan hey, hey, listen. What if they kept going? <laughs> No. I, no, I think Nightmares I mean, look, would be alive. Hey, listen, like, like, cause like Knuckles, I think is taller than everybody, right? I want to know how tall he would have been, cause you know they they made Sonic a little bit taller. Oh you, my god! I'm just saying. Hey, I'm just curious. Look, everybody, I'm not alone in this. I hope not. Like, I wanted to know what is the original design. How would they would go with it? I don't want it in the big screen, but they could put it in the Blu-ray or something. I feel like they could have, but you know. But I did hear from Tr that he that they do have the original design and a little bit of scenes in the original, um, uh, the original one in the Blu-ray in the first movie, which I'm gonna buy. But yeah, uh, I, I'm just curious. I, I I think crazy things like that. Okay, well this has been dragged on for way too long. So, um, what are your final verdicts on this? And now I'll let Foskin go first because uh, she wanted to do this the entire time. So, uh, Foskin, why don't you go first? I would say overall, I would recommend this to children who like action and hilarious jokes. Because that is basically built into Sonic. And this movie is mostly action, I would have to say. 
it's a good 8 out of 10 for me. Okay. Yeah, All right. Now, Young Biggs. Um, so, the, the, the visuals look so good in this movie. Uh, the I, I feel like if, if uh, you know, you know the cast did a great job. I, I, I feel like they they really uh, did a great job, especially uh, uh, the voice actors and actresses. Uh, you know, Tails uh, they have the original voice actor for Tails, uh, for voice actress for Tails. Sorry, um, I felt like that uh, you know they did a great job. I had no issues with it, uh, despite the wedding scene. I felt like that one they could have done a, a little, you know they. You know, whatever. But when it comes to that acting, I guess they did an okay job for what they were trying to do. Uh, you know, a lot of lot of uh, references in this. I love that. Um, the the pacing was okay. The pacing was good. It was it, it was it was on it was on its point, so it was okay. Um, Jim Carrey being Jim Carrey, so that's you know Jim Carrey fans. Go for it as usual. If you like the first one, because Jim Carrey, you go like the like him in the second. Um, I do have issues with it though. Uh, certain scenes were unnecessary, which is the wedding. The wedding, like I brought up, um, harsh. Uh, you know, Jim Carrey is, again. It is a pro and cons. Jim Carrey being Jim Carrey. So if you're kind of tired of Jim Carrey acting like how he acted like in the first one, you'll be a little bit tired that he acted like it in the second one. Um, you know, uh, we also forgot about the dancing, this, the dancing sequence. That's one of my favorite scenes. The, the dancing sequence, I felt like they could have just left, but, you know, but I don't know, right? <laughs> what are they there for again? I don't remember. You see, like, uh, <laughs> there for direction. Oh yeah, they were asking for directions. They was asking for directions. Okay, so that's the, that's the case. But if they was gonna become chopped liver and be burnt as a pork chop, I think they should have just left because Sonic could have just. Literally. The fish was like, run. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How did we forget that scene? That was one of the funniest ones that happened when 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 <laughs> you can you can bring it up. All right. So basically, yeah. when they got into the tower, okay, this is gonna be like a very quick thing I'm gonna say here before I get to my final word here, or if Yambis was done. But basically, when they got into the tavern, um, the ice cap zone tavern they basically got in they were like wearing like what's the word they're wearing like big coats this guy was like yeah we're human stuff like that and then what happened is they went in everyone was just staring them straight in the eye kind of reminded you like that for, like in the first movie when they went to that um inn or whatever it was i think it was like a rodeo tavern i think and basically this one it's like they're looking at him like ready to kill and then you just see an old lady just knitting a kill a knit, that lady killed saying that, that lady. had a skull if i would have saw that i would have left and then she up. turned around and then you just see a fish a, a fish is just no like, no, no 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 you see you see the butcher that came in he, sl he sliced the fish and it rolled and it would have said run <laughs> <laughs> and then tails fell. when you saw the trailer when tails passed out that's what happens the, the fish head roll and it said run <laughs> tails passed out <laughs> and then and then and then sonic's like table for two <laughs> like, wow. like, this guy's insane but he, you know he's used to this crazy stuff so i guess all right <laughs> now we are so close to 30 one hour 30 minutes so this, this is gonna be a lot of you gotta edit that one but um, yeah. Um, so I'm sorry. So uh, so so we, so we get to that. Um, you know the dance hall scene and so on and so forth. Uh, I felt like I felt like it it didn't mean much to me. I felt like it's this is just for kids. So I'm just like okay, I'll give it for the kids. It's a musical number for the kids in a way. So I'll give it that. So for me personally, it didn't do much for me. For but for kids, I understand it. It's still part of the cons for me because personally, I don't think much of it. All right. Um, you know, so musical score was solid in this. Uh, how they got, you know, the, the music when they were fighting or the, uh, you know, the chasing and everything. I felt like everything was good in that moment. Um, you know, but you know, that's that's pretty much what it is. Um, my final verdict uh, of. Sonic 2 would be an 8 out of 10. I think they did a great job in this. Um, as a fan, 
I actually love uh, how they did it. The references, Jeff Fowler has done a, a great job for the Sonic fans and for people who don't really uh, know about Sonic. I feel like that he did a good balance to that. It's not perfect, but he did a good balance to it. Uh, Sonic fans, uh, you know, yeah, you're gonna love this movie. All right, now for my final verdict, follows my complete song for Sonic. Not I'll be like, a thousand out of ten, one million out of ten, a thousand bajillion. Okay, but, but let me calm down. My final verdict, I'd say respectfully, nine out of ten, because they did a pretty good job with the movie. I will say it's a lo it's ten times better than the first one, that's for sure. Okay, they did a add a lot more uh, for all the source material. I mean, they did with the first one, but this one they just like. They, it's like they were analyzing the source material a little bit in this one. And the animation, it was executed very nicely. I applaud them for that. For some reason, for some of like the CGI part, like for the final boss, like a supersonic stuff, like when Eggman was like, they were like outside and like Sonic was looking at him and he's like, we're not friends. I don't know why, but the CGI, it just looked so weird to me for that part. That's why. Like the green, like, probably the green screen part, that probably got to me. Acting, everyone did a fantastic job. I still think Wade was useless, though. Like, Wade, Wade was completely Wade is, useless. Wade is the worst. <laughs> Bruh, the yeah. dance battle and the supersonic moment, that was probably the best part for me in this entire movie. But, yeah, I have to give this a 9 out of 10 respectfully. I think it was a good movie overall, and I recommend anyone like Sonic fan. Maybe if you're not a Sonic fan, maybe you give it a try. You'll probably like it, too. But, yeah, definitely a good watch. With that being said, that's it for our review. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to comment, like, subscribe. Thank you for my siblings, Fox King and Young Bigs, for being here. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace Later, out. haters! <laughs>